And here we go, cruisers. First updates of the week, and thank you for joining us for our daily cruise news updates. We have five brand new stories coming up as a port is dropped for holiday cruise sailing. Watch this video and more brought to you directly from cruisehive.com. Joining in on the biggest season Royal Caribbean International has ever had in Australia, Quantum of the Seas has arrived back in Brisbane for a summer of sailings to top Australian and South Pacific ports. Quantum of the Seas began its summer season on October the 28th, arriving in Brisbane after finishing her 17-night Trans-Pacific cruise from Hawaii. Brilliance of the Seas began sailing from Sydney on October the 22nd, and also home ported from Sydney will be Ovation of the Seas returning on November the 3rd to begin her sailing season offering 3 to 11 night itineraries visiting outstanding destinations in New Zealand. The world's largest cruise ship, Icon of the Seas, has set off on a second set of sea trials. She set off earlier this year on her first test voyage, with a vessel now being subjected to even more trials. Setting sail from Miami on a seven-day cruise to the Caribbean, casting off from the dock on October the 27th. Construction of Icon of the Seas began back in 2021, now more than two years ago. Now as she departed for her second set of sea trials, her maiden voyage isn't far away. On January the 27th, she will depart from Miami on a maiden voyage, visiting popular destinations such as St. Kitts, St. Thomas, as well as a day at Royal Caribbean's private island, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. The sailing season in Canada is wrapping up with record numbers for cruise travellers and cruise ship calls surpassing pre-pandemic levels and bringing great economic benefits to port communities across the country. Multiple cruise ports in Canada have reported superior numbers this year, such as Vancouver recording 332 ship visits and an astonishing 1.25 million guests. Some ports have been exceptionally busy, such as Halifax, welcoming five ships in one day at the peak of fall foliage season. Carnival Cruise Line's upcoming Carnival Jubilee will mark an impressive milestone on October the 30th as the ship leaves the shipyard in Papenburg in Germany and moves on to the River Ems in preparation for her upcoming sea trials. The critical part of the ship's construction will test her technical and safety systems and is essential before she can be handed over to Carnival Cruise Line. Two tugs will assist the almost 183 thousand gross ton vessel down the river to ensure safe flexibility. Once the sea trials are finished, Carnival Jubilee will be one very important step closer to a planned December 23rd debut from Galveston in Texas. Guests booked on a New Year's holiday cruise aboard Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas will not be visiting the ports of call planned on the original itinerary. The change is due to ongoing port enhancements and choose to be in sailing an eight-night Eastern Caribbean holiday cruise round trip from Fort Lauderdale departing December the 30th with ports of call to Antigua, St. Martin, Puerto Rico and Haiti. Details of the ongoing port enhancements prompting this itinerary change have not been released. It also should be noted that the port is not closed entirely to all ships, as vessels from AIDA Cruises, MSE Cruises, Princess Cruises, Celebrity, Holland America Line and others are all scheduled in the days before and after Symphony of the Seas now cancelled visit. And that wraps up today's Updates Cruisers. Now for more coverage of the news topics we have discussed in the video, you can find them on our website on cruisehive.com. To stay up to date with the latest news, please show your support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. My name is Paul and it's a goodbye for me. Now to inform you Cruisers, we have slightly less videos for you this week. So have a good day Cruisers and I will see you in the next video.